We have absolutely smashed our entries on Pepe coin. We're in the midst of a pullback at the moment. What do we need to do next? There's something that I've seen on the charts, guys, that if this plays out, it's going to be big. And here we have the Pepe chart. So we've got a couple of exciting charts to look at very shortly. We need something for that big break in the crypto market. And I know exactly what that thing is. So stay tuned right to the end. Right, Pepe coin. Put in a new high, higher high, pull back. We've been tracking this pullback, tracking this pullback, and this is where the community got their entry. We said that the next resistance level was sitting at 14638. We've come back, we've tested the 16318, pierced through, and then pulled back as expected. So, how far is this pullback likely to be? And where is a good entry on Pepe coin? What we can do is we can stick a simple Fibonacci from the previous swing low to the high and see if we can get any confluence between support in different areas. So what we're looking for is a 618, a simple 618, 618, 618. What can you see with this 618, guys? Take a look, what can you see? Can you see any kind of confluence? 618 coincides with this trend that we're currently in. So we come back, hit this trend. If this trend acts as support, and then we get a higher, higher, higher closed candle, then that means that it's testing support, it's reacting as support, and it's likely that we're going to go back and test the previous high. So we want price action to stick at the 13420 level. That's the 618 level, that's the trend line. If price action fell through there, come back, retested this as resistance, then the trend's broken, the bears have regained momentum, and it's time to start reassessing your positions. So that's what I'm looking for on Pepe coin. What do we need for this surge? We've got the total three. We've been taking a look at the total three on this channel for some time now. And what I've done is I've put a Fibonacci, a simple Fibonacci tool from the top to the bottom. And we've got our zones that are going to react. We've got our zones. So this is the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and excluding Ethereum. So it's all of the other altcoins. And what you can see is we've broken out of this major, major, major resistance point. We've been in this resistance, or we've been in this range for, and this is the weekly chart, 83 weeks, guys, 83 weeks, and we've broken out of the range. So that's positive. The next resistance level sitting all the way up at 613 billion. So as far as where price action is currently sitting now, that's 22.38% in the altcoin. So there's loads of room. There's loads of wiggle room for the altcoin. So that's a positive. We've broken and broken and broken a major, major, major resistance level on the total three. So I'm looking at how that's going to react. And if we get this push up on the total three, you're going to see Pepe coin. You're going to see all the memes. You're going to see all the crypto running during that time. That'll be alt season. And what do we need? We can have another confirmation. We can just reassess and we can look at other areas as to what we would need to happen for that surge in the altcoins. And one thing that we did, would need to happen is this break in Bitcoin dominance. So I've got the Bitcoin dominance chart on the weekly. And you can see we're breaking this trend line here. We're breaking and breaking and breaking. If we break this to the downside, that means people are coming out of Bitcoin and going on to more on-risk assets, which is altcoins. So a breakdown from here on Bitcoin is going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good thing. And then as we come back and retest, boom, surge in altcoins. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you did find this useful. Take care of yourself and goodbye from me.